Hey everybody, Susan Rashawn here, The Techie Mentor. Just a big thank you for listening to this podcast, the virtual assistant tips, tricks, and advice channel where I share all things virtual assistant every week with no fluff, just the stuff that gets results. Hello my friends and welcome to today's episode and today's a hot topic all around AI and marketing. And I really want to talk to you about how marrying those two together is going to make it so much easier for you to find and get clients. So what do I mean by marrying the two? First of all, let's talk about marketing. Marketing is the foundation of every successful business. Even if you're somebody who hasn't marketed and you're still getting clients, that could change in an instant. If you were rely on referrals, that could change in an instant. You need to be marketing your business. And I'm not talking about those so-called strategies that so many other people teach, which is join a Facebook group full of VAs and wait for a help wanted post. That's a feeding frenzy. That's That's not a strategy. In my opinion, that's a lazy way to tell people to get clients. There's no strategy involved. All you have to do is join a group full of VAs. Well, the problem is everybody else is there for the same reason, and guess what? a feeding frenzy ensues and you have a slim chance of getting noticed because of the enormous amount of emails this person is going to get or DMs, whatever it might be. The other thing that's rampant with others in the industry telling you, hey, join Fiverr or or join, join Guru or any freelancing site. Well, the problem with that is it costs you money and time. You can find good clients on there, but so many people on there are just looking for the cheapest possible resource. They're looking for one and done, not long term relationships. And it also costs you money because you have to give up some of your hard earned income to even be on the platform in, in the first place. So I'm a, I'm an advocate for learning the skills where you don't have to pay anybody to get you clients, that you can do it yourself. That is what marketing is all about. And if you find marketing challenging or scary, AI can change that for you. Marketing is step one in getting clients. So if you struggle to get clients, you need to embrace marketing. And what I mean by marketing is digital marketing. And obviously AI is artificial intelligence. It can really, really help you. So let me give you some ideas on how AI can change your marketing and client acquisition strategies. First off, it can help you with crafting and generating content. So it can give you ideas of content that you can create based on the services that you sell. And I don't know if you're like me, I struggle with the blank page syndrome. I can't start with a blank page. I need ideas. And this is what AI can do for you. You can type something in and it will spit out a bunch of ideas. You can take one of those and run with it. You can ask for more details and it will give you more ideas. So for me, AI is an idea generator. And it can give you ideas for everything under the sun. Well, so many people struggle with marketing. And that's why I wanted to do this episode. I wanted to maybe help you embrace marketing, but also embrace AI and not fear it, but embrace it as an idea generator. So as I said, it can help you create and generate content ideas. It can help you craft your messaging, your market marketing messaging. It can help you craft what's called a UVP. And a UVP stands for Unique Value Proposition. And it can help you do this in so many different ways. And it can make it unique and appealing so it helps you stand out in the crowded VA space. It can also help you create messaging that you can send through DMs to potential clients. And it can also help you do the research to help you identify target audiences and potential clients for what you're selling, the services that you're selling. It can also help you develop a very simple but comprehensive marketing plan and give you action items on what you should do, how often. And it can do so much more. There are so many different AI tools out there. There are general AI tools such as ChatGPT, which is what I use, but then there are specific AI tools for specific things like writing headlines. Um, There are ones to help you leverage your schedule. There are so many different ones and this industry, the AI industry is exploding and it's time to embrace it, especially for those of you who struggle with marketing and are struggling with getting the right clients or getting any clients for that matter. 
So if you're somebody who falls under either one of those bullet points, I would love to invite you to join the waitlist because I'm creating a brand new course that I'm calling the AI Toolbox. It's all about marketing and client attraction for VAs. So I'm going to teach you how to use AI to create your marketing and help you attract your clients. So it's gonna make it so much easier for you. And if you're somebody who doesn't get marketing, doesn't feel like you have anything to say or you don't know what content to create or even know what to do, this course will really help you. So I invite you to sign up for the wait list as this course is in what I call pre-launch. It's actually in development at, at the moment. So I've given you a link below. Um, I'd love to have you join me. If you're interested, you don't have to buy anything. You can sign up to get more information. And if you're on the wait list, you'll actually get some additional bonuses and freebies. So just to summarize, for those of you who struggle to get clients or market, AI is to me a, a new team member that you should be embracing as an idea generator and giving you tips and tricks and, and information that you can use to easily and effectively market your business, stand out in the, from the crowd, and attract your dream clients. So I hope you found this helpful. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any tips, if you've tried AI, feel free to leave a comment and I will read and respond. As always, thank you for your time and for listening and I'll see you guys next week.